hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sasha for all you guys that are new here if you're new to my channel this is a channel where i talk about my journey from one country which is jamaica migrating to canada so if that's something that you're interested in please continue to watch on this specific video i will be talking about the sponsorship letter for proof of funds when coming to canada as an international student this can also be used though if you're just applying for your regular visitor's visa okay so beside me i will put an example of a sponsorship letter so the sponsorship letter is usually used for either students or visitors to prove that they have enough funds to travel to canada i spoke about in one of my videos talking about if you do not have enough funds um, when applying for your student visa that can be an issue so usually it's within like 10,000 if you're a student plus your tuition amount the 10,000 is going to show that you can cover stuff like transportation food rent insurance etc so you're going to need to prove that you can survive in Canada they need proof to say that you have enough to actually survive for an entire year so on the website it states that you're going to need ten thousand dollars per person so ten thousand dollars for yourself if you're bringing your spouse or your children each child is going to be ten thousand dollars extra okay so this is where the sponsorship letter comes in the sponsorship letter it can be from a family member it can be from a close friend that i know of i'm not sure if you can use anybody else you can take out a loan but i don't recommend that and you wouldn't need a sponsorship letter then because technically it's going to be coming from yourself but this video of course i'm just going to show you how to make the sponsorship letter you're going to need a person sponsoring you you the fund to um review and also sign it agreeing that they're going to sponsor you they, they will be sponsoring you to come to canada I decided to do a voiceover because the video that I made is, was actually um, giving me some errors while I was trying to edit it. But this is basically an example. I'm going to give you two examples of how the sponsorship letter is supposed to look or can look. With this example, you see that at the heading you have letter of sponsorship. You're basically going to outline or identify to them what type of letter this is. Right, so you're going to have letter of sponsorship in bold at the top of it. Then below that, you're going to put the person who is sponsoring you address. So wherever they live, not your address, their address. So if they live in another country, say you're applying from Jamaica and you're, the person lives in America, you're going to put their American address, okay? The same address that is going to be on the bank statement. Sorry, after um, you enter the address at the top, then you're going to put their telephone number. Okay, then below that, you're going to put their email address. Then below the email address, you're going to put the date that you're writing the letter. The date that you're, you should put is the date that is closer to the time that you're going to apply. So if you know that you're going to apply in May, please do not write the letter or have them write the letter for January. Like, do it closer to the time. So, say, April or even in May, you get the letter from them signed. Then, below that, you're going to put the High Commission of Canada. Below the two, you're going to put the address of the embassy in your country. The address that I have there is the one for Kingston, Jamaica. If you're doing it for another country or you live in another country, I should say, say you live in Barbados, you live in Australia, Nigeria, Japan, anywhere else, just put the address of the embassy in your country that is closest to you. Then in the middle of the letter, you're going to put, or you call it the subject line, you're going to put to whom it may concern. You can do this in all caps if you wish, or you can do it just like what you see on the, the screen right now. By the way, I just want to let you guys know that this is the exact letter that I use. I had two sponsorship, one from um, a friend and the next one from a parent. And this is the letter that I use for the parent, okay? So below the two whom it may concern, I put um, student name. Then I would enter my full name. So I would have Sasha Gay Robinson there. And then below that one, um, I have the sponsor's name. So you enter who you're using as your sponsor. Okay. So if it's your uncle, your auntie, your spouse, 
whose, uh, whose name it is that is sponsoring you, you should put their name there. Then, of course, below that, I have sponsors relationship to the student. So the options that I have here is that they can be your spouse. They can be a parent or parents. They can be a friend or you can put other um, in the other section. It can be that you're using a loan. OK, then underneath that, you're going to put dear sir or madam. And then what I have right now, of course, you can add some stuff, but make sure that it's going to be one page. You don't need more than one page. So what I have now in the body of the first paragraph, it's basically stating, I agree to pay all expenses for the above named student at the, then you're going to input which college or university, wherever you're going to study at. So for instance, I was studying at Niagara College Canada. So it reads something like, I agree to pay all expenses um, for the above named student at Niagara College Canada. Okay. Then in the next line, I have this sponsorship includes, but is not limited to the tuition, the books, health insurance. So if it is different for you, if that person sponsoring you is just going to, con um, they're going to only sponsor, say, your rent or um, transportation and not your tuition. Your tuition is different. Or maybe they want to sponsor the book and health insurance and transportation and rent. Like It just depends on what they're, they're basically going to help you with. You just list it based on um, what it's going to cover, what they're going to cover, I should say. Then in the next line, you're going to basically summarize the total amount that will be used in the sponsorship. So the next line should read, I will be sponsoring 20,000 Canadian or 10,000 Canadian or 5,000. It just depends on how much that person is going to sponsor you. Remember at the end of the day that they're the ones that is going to write the letter like the spons person sponsoring you is supposed to write the letter but if you're writing the letter on behalf of them they're going to need to sign it so everything is supposed to say i instead of they are going to because they're basically the ones agreeing to this then in the next line you're supposed to have i have attached the bank statement to show that i have sufficient financial resources to cover the expenses for the program Next line, or you can just add it to the one paragraph. Um, you can say, um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact by using the contact information listed above. So, or you can just list them. You can be like, okay, um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via email. You can provide their email and also their phone number if they have any questions. Then in meditation now. You can do yours truly or you can do just simply sincerely and then of course skip four to six lines and then the name of the person at the bottom the full name and the signature should be on top of the full name so this is basically the summary of the letter of sponsorship an example the first example Okay, so we're all done with the sponsorship letter, but bear in mind that there are two other additional things that you're going to need with the sponsorship letter if you do go through that route. It's a case that you're going to need a copy of the ID of the person that is sponsoring you, and you're going to also need a copy of their bank statement proving that they have enough funds to cover for what they're going to say that they're sponsoring you. So say that they're going to sponsor you $5,000, in their bank account, they should have more than 5,000 Canadian dollars at least. So you're going to need a copy of their ID to be like, okay, I'm the person that is giving authorization. Um, like I'm legit. <laughs> Say that I have my name and I'm sponsoring my niece, right? I ha would have to give my niece my driver's license or any, any government ID basically to prove that I'm the person that signed it. Make sure your signature is the same as the signature on the sponsorship letter if you're the person sponsoring. The person sponsoring is supposed to have the same signature like what is on the letter, okay? So that is basically how you're supposed to do the sponsorship letter. And remember that you're supposed to have the two documents, which is the ID of the person sponsoring and then um, the bank statement, okay? Don't forget those because it makes no sense to just write a letter and, and provide it when you're applying for the visa. 
they're going to need proof that the person can basically pay for what they're saying they're going to sponsor you for and to prove that the person is who they are right in the letter so that's the reason why they need a copy of the id they'll definitely let you know if they need more information that's where um the person sponsoring can be like if you need more information you can contact me via email or through the number that they have provided but they'll definitely let you know as it regards the proof of funds section they'll let you know if they need more information or if they don't if you have any additional questions about that let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to answer your questions or if i need to make a full video on a certain topic if more than one of you guys have any questions i'll be happy to do so if you're new to my channel remember to like share and subscribe and of course turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime i post a video until next time god bless you and i'll see you in my next one bye